Hello YouTube viewers and random LEGO fans. I love LEGO. You may already know this as I made a whole video about it last year. It was my all time favourite toy as a kid. I had this big red bucket of bits that I always used to take with me everywhere. I'd sprawl it all out on the carpet and build anything with it. It was just so creative. I've never really lost my appreciation for the toy and I always look forward to reviewing some of the new sets now as an adult. Naturally when a LEGO movie was announced I was very curious but I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I did. It was an excellent movie which really encapsulated my love and nostalgia for the toy which is why today in my look back at the stuff I loved as a little boy, I have chosen this set to represent Lego, the Double Decker Couch Set. Why this and not Metalbeard Ship or one of the other awesome vehicles from the end fight? Well, because this is one of the things that I would have built as a kid, sadly enough, and it represents that great variety of Lego. You can build a super cool spaceship, or you can build something totally bizarre like a couch with two levels. And on that note, let's get into the review, starting off as always with the box. At the top corner we get the LEGO and LEGO Movie logos. In the bottom corner you can see all of the minifigures that come with this set. It's for ages 7 to 14, it's set number 70818, and it is the Double Decker Couch. The image on the front of the box is great, it gives you a good look at the fully constructed contents of the set, while on the back we get a couple of images showing it off as well. Opening up the box, as you can see it contains one instruction booklet and four clear plastic bags of LEGO bits. And that does it for the packaging, so let's get this thing built. Cue the time lapse. <laughs> <gasps> wow, that was fast. Anyway, so here we have the Double Decker Couch set, and we'll start off by looking at the couch itself. It looks really great and close to the one seen in the movie, as it's not an exact piece-for-piece piece replica. The colour of these flat tiles used on the couches seems to match up pretty well, as does this grey line underneath and the brown construction on the back. I really love those little armrests on the edges. They're a very simple design, but they work so well. We also get these brown ladders on both sides, allowing the characters to reach the top couch. They're not really connected well, just clipped on at the bottom and there's nothing attaching them to the top section, so they they are quite loose. We do get the four white mugs clipped to the armrests, which is a nice touch, and all four are of course detachable. That's quite a basic Lego set on its own though really. So fortunately Emmett's car has also been included here which I really appreciate. It's very small and there's only room for one minifigure inside but that's how it looked in the movie. The front looks so great what with the grey bumper at the bottom and the circular headlights on either side of this black grille. The windscreen is quite elongated and slightly tinted also. Some wing mirrors are present on both sides as are these white doors which actually open out. The car also features these standard Lego racing wheels with the treadless tyres. The back is very simplistic but there is a small trunk-like section in which Emmett's red hard hat can be stored. The interior of the car is quite simple with the black steering wheel, but if you look closely you can make out his actual little radio has been included so Emmett can listen into his favourite song. Awesome indeed. As I said, the doors do open, but it's very tricky to fit a minifigure in via the side of the car, so instead this roof piece is fully removable, which allows you to easily insert any of the figures. And speaking of the minifigures, a total of five characters come with this set. We of course get Emmett, who comes with a waffle, Unikitty in sitting position, Benny with a hot dog for some reason, and the actual crack in his helmet, which is so good. President Business, and finally the much coveted Ghost Vitruvius minifigure also make up the set, which looks excellent and comes with his green lollipop staff. What's more is that the ghostly sheet section covering his head and draping down over his body is actually glow in the dark. And as you can see, when I say glow in the dark, I don't mean that it kind of glows, I mean that it is bright. Look at this thing, I'm amazed at how much light it emits. That's so, so awesome. Um, all of the characters with faces of course contain that alternate facial expression feature, so removing their hair and twisting their heads to 180 degrees and then replacing their hair will give the characters a different look on their faces. What's more is that Unikitty also offers this feature, albeit in a slightly different way. A fully alternate face brick has been included which can be switched around to give her an alternate sad look, so that's a really nice touch. So overall, what do I think of this set? Well, initially I found the choice of minifigures included here to be really odd. Why not include Wildstyle or Batman? Why is President Business here? And why is Vitruvius dead, even though during the part of the movie where Emmett creates the double-decker couch, he's still alive? 
But then I got to thinking about it, and I realised something. The double-decker couch on its own is very basic, a nice novelty, yes, but not exactly the most awesome Lego set out there. So maybe this really isn't a set aimed at the kids. Sure, they can buy it, build it, and have fun with it in the only way a child can with Lego, but maybe this is one aimed at the adult collectors. Perhaps the double-decker couch acts as a stand, and the minifigures were chosen to represent some of the best characters from the movie to be displayed upon it. I mean, look at it. It works so well as a display piece, plus the added inclusion of Emmett's car is a great little bonus for the kids as well. And in the end, that's exactly why I chose this as the set to represent my childhood love of Lego. It combines that great imaginative element of playing with it and the adult collector element of displaying it as a nice little representation of the Lego movie. Oh, and if I was a kid and I got this set, I would totally take the wheels from the car and add them to the couch. <laughs> and so that does it for this review. I really hope you liked it. If you did and you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe for more videos and keep up to date with all my latest news and reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Okay.